Hey guys, I hope you guys are doing good today. Uh, we are going to talk about Docker. So Docker means like why you should not use Docker. So there are 10 reasons that I found. So I would like to share those reasons. Uh, so without wasting any time, just get into the video. All about security concern. Number one is security concern. Docker can potentially pose security risk because of the way it designed to share the host kernel with the container running on top of it. For example, a container with a vulnerable application could potentially compromise the entire host system as was demonstrated in the well-known uh, dirty cow vulnerability. Two is all about the complexity. Uh, Docker can be complex to set up and maintain, especially for large, more complex application. This can lead to a steep learning curve and can require a specialized knowledge to properly configure and manage. Overhead. Docker containers come with uh, additional overhead which can negatively impact the application for performance for example each container required its own operating system and file system and which can consume an additional resources versioning managing the multiple versions of docker images can be a challenge as container image is updated and pushed it to the registry it can create a conflict and inconsistency in the environment make it difficult to maintain the consistency and the predictability Licensing. Docker has a software, uh, the convoluted licensing model uh, that can be difficult to understand and manage. For example, certain Docker images may be licensed under different terms than the application they contain, which can create a licensing issue and concerns. Vendor lock-in. Docker is pro proprietary technology that is controlled by a Docker INC. Uh, this can create a vendor lock-in and limit the options available to the users who wants to use alternative containerization technology. Resource limitation. Docker containers can be limited in the terms of the resource they can access, which can make it difficult to run the application that are required large amount of memory or processing power. For example, a container running a high performance computing application may need to be able to access the specialized hardware that is not available in a containerized environment. Compatibility. Docker may be not compatible with all applications and environment for example some legacy applications may not be compatible with docker or may require a significant modification to run properly in containerized environment debugging debugging containers i mean docker containers can be a challenge especially when issue arise across multiple containers or in a distributed environment for example debugging microservice architecture with dozens of com containers can be uh, time consuming and difficult license sorry it's a learning curve finally there is a steep learning curve associated with the docker especially for the users who are new to the containerization and devops for example users may not learn sorry users may need to learn uh, new tools and technologies such as docker compose swam to effectively manage and deploy their applications in containerized environment that's all i have guys and we'll see you on the another lecture thank you so much please do subscribe my channel Bye bye